Welcome back to Brazen Brits. Today, we're gonna to do something we should have done three years ago, and that is install not one, but two tire pressure monitoring systems. We are gonna compare the tire minder with the TST. Let's roll the intro, and we'll get into it. It really makes me wonder. So first of all, why would you want a tire pressure monitoring system? Well, if you know anyone who's RV'd for long enough, the chances are they have had a tire blowout. And with a rig this size, that's pretty significant. Uh, and so it can cause accidents. You can rip out the whole underside of your trailer. We know someone whose trailer burnt down because it ripped the propane line and ignited. We have gas stop, that won't happen. <laughs> but uh, there's a whole bunch of things you do not want to blow out on a trailer. Um, uh, even if you have a spare, you'll find that if one tire blows, it's very common for another tire to blow. And if you've only got one spare, you're in trouble. Yeah. And getting tow trucks and things like that is very tough. So anyway, the reason why tires blow is typically because of the pressure. If they are under inflated, the heat within the tire gets so hot that it will then cause a blowout. The other thing is if they're under inflated the side walls are kind of like flopping down and that's another reason for causing that. Now mm. I'm not a professional, we have never had an issue, mm. but all I know is that I feel much safer to have one of these and I'm sorry it took us so long to get this. Yes. So just a quick disclaimer, we were given these sets for free. Yes. Um, we were given one first but we wanted to do a comparison and I'll tell you why the one reason why we haven't ever had one is because I can't decide which one to buy mm -hmm. so we're very happy that they have given us these for free but at the end of the video we're gonna tell you which one we are gonna keep and why all right before we get into the details and the install I am putting time codes down below like we do on all of our videos so if you want to skip to a certain point feel free to do that uh, if there's anything you want to know or specifics about insulation then feel free to skip below there so if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know that typically I generally do all the DIY install stuff but we thought it'd be a good idea for Natalie to do that and so Natalie has done all the research and she's gonna go in and do all the install. I am indeed, I'm excited. So let's get to it. Okay, to start we're gonna do the tire minder first. Included in the box that you get, you get this handy little uh, monitor and then you get your signal boost and you get a suction cup for your monitor, charger, batteries and of course the little things that go on the tires. But first things first, we need to put the signal booster on. So you're meant to install this at the back of your truck. However, we are doing a comparison between the TST and the tire minder. So for now, we're gonna connect it to our trailer battery because we're not sure which one we're gonna keep yet. So it comes with crocodile clips and uh, so we've clipped those on and as you can see, the green light is on, so it is working. Okay, before we mess about with all the sensors, we have to charge up the screen first. I am now installing the batteries into the transmitters that go onto the wheels. In a pack, you usually get six. We ordered an extra two so that we can have four for the trailer and four for the truck, and a total of eight. So I put the batteries in all of the transmitters. The great thing is you get eight free as well. So we have double the amount of batteries. I have no idea how long they last yet, but uh, we now need to go sync this with that monitor that we just put in the truck. All right, so the instructions are very clear and very easy to read. I've put this device into learning mode now, and you can see that the front left um, tire, so to speak, is flashing, which means I need to go and put one of these transmitters into there. And then apparently within 15 seconds, I'll hear a beep and I will see the current PSI. The only thing I will say though, is they have put an image over the text here. So that's not very helpful. I 
Okay, so you can see that this works and it's flashing 65. That's awesome. If we push this button over here, it now brings it to the right hand side so we can go and plug that one so in. So I fluffed up. And I put the passenger rear one in the middle here by accident. So I need to go and um, undo it and leave it for a minute and then push some buttons or something and fix that. So give me a moment. That was really easy to fix, luckily. It says in the manual how to do it. But now we need to install the trailer tires. So I'm gonna scroll across all the way until it says rear up here. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. All right, so they're all installed and now I have the front and the rear and they seem to be alternating on their own. I can't quite figure out a way it doesn't move if I push any buttons. If I push the middle button, it just shows me the Fahrenheit out of the temperature of the tire and back to PSI. So that's a little annoying. I, maybe I'm doing something stupid. Please let me know if I am, but I can't see a way other than it automatically flicking from rear to front to look at it you know manually quickly so obviously the main point of the tire mining system is to check for any incidents or issues that are occurring and they actually check the tires every six seconds which is awesome and the things they are checking for and i don't want to get this wrong so i will read it to you is a rapid leak so a pressure loss of three psi or more in less than two minutes a slow leak so pressure loss of six psi for two to ten minutes low pressure high pressure and a high temperature so there's that checking every six seconds and that is obviously the main function of this device so natalie just told me that she installed the tire minder which looks really cool i'll have to mess about with that later but she did say that one of the tires is low on the rig which is strange that one and none of the others are but uh, anyway we are heading out very soon so i got the trusty Viair out which we love this thing by the way uh it's we've had this for two years it's a little bit rusty and stuff now but um we've had this for two years love it so i'm gonna go and pump up the tires and then we're good to go so lawrence how did you find the tire minder on our journey so i loved it it was great it was really nice to have i was watching the temperature of the tires and the psi which was really cool for both the truck and the trailer the signal booster worked perfectly uh, we didn't really ever lose connection a uh, couple of things like I did everything I wanted it to do but a couple of things that I'm not too sure about Natalie uh, one of them is um, it flicks between the trailer and the truck every time and so you have to kind of keep looking at it to see if you want to see the truck or the trailer uh, which is pretty dangerous if you run down the road it's not all on one screen and I thought it would have been so that was disappointing um, uh, and then the other problem that we had is we disconnected the trailer uh, yesterday evening and we went to dinner and it took about 40 minutes for the trailer sensors to realize that they were disconnected and that's very worrying why is that worrying because if they disconnected if the antenna or something disconnected this still sorry this is beeping now because i just turned it on and <laughs> it's still not connected um so it's worrying because we got 45 minutes down the road without the trailer on and it was still saying the trailer tires were 73 psi interesting so and it took 40 minutes so i'm a little bit worried about that i may contact timeminder and just ask them what the deal is with that uh for it to realize how difficult i can't believe that signal booster boosted, that boosted the <laughs> signal 50 miles so we'll figure that out and see what uh, what the deal is with that. So moving on to the TST or a tire monitoring system. So we have the exact same setup pretty much. We have our signal booster, same thing. We have the charger. We have all of our, our sensors. I do like that this one comes with little numbers. So I know which one up to 24. That's quite excessive, but um, at least they have numbers. So I know where each one is. Um, we have a screen here with a little mount. The screen is different to the, the uh, tire minder. It looks like it's going to be more individual tires, but we'll see when we boot it up. I did notice that on the back, however, the mounts are the, like the same for the this bracket. And I'm not going to lie, I think the tire minder bracket was a little bit nicer quality, <laughs> but that's not important. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to do exactly the same thing as yesterday. We're going to go and set all these up um, and yeah, see what it looks like.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go install the signal thing and I just noticed I don't have any crocodile clips, I have these hoops, which is gonna make this a little more difficult because we just want it as a temporary thing, but you have to actually screw these on. Um, so I need to go faff about with that. All right, TSC is very different to set up from the tire minder. So what you do is you go through the options and you set the tire location and then you pick up the sensor and you touch it on the screen and it registers that sensor with the tire location. So you actually register all of these to the TST system and then install them on the car. The only time it's different is you can actually, which I didn't know, but you can have uh, internal pressure sensors apparently. And when you do that, you charge up the screen and then you can touch the screen to the tire rather than the other way around. So that's very cool. It's a little bit more complicated than the tire minder. But there must be a reason for it, why it's more complicated. Yeah, I don't know, it's just a different way they're set up, but I mean, they're just different sensors. So it's interesting, we'll see how they work. Mm. So anyway, just a, just a note, that's don't install them on your truck first. It's easier just to do them all in one go in the truck like we are. Right, so I pushed, pushed, set. So the FFFF is blinking, touch this to that, and then press go. Uh, is that right? Uh, and yeah, it gives right. you a six-digit code, which it has. Which it has, and then, but it did say we're going to be writing these down. <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of my phone. Right, so I press set. Yeah. So it flashes. Put the sensor against it. Press set again. Isn't it go? Oh, for goodness' sake. Go. Yes. Done. Then press set. And then press set. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this, Lawrence. <laughs> right. This is how you do it. I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm going to press and hold set so it flashes. No. Press set so it flashes. <laughs> I'm so rubbish at this. Then I'm going to hold this. Then I'm going to press go. I got my code. And then I set it. I did it. I did it! Okay, it is all set up and done. We are going to go home now, unfortunately, from a wonderful weekend away at the air show. Uh, and then we will see how we get on with it and let you know. Okay, so at the time of filming right now, which we are in April 2022, um, the tire minder for eight sensors is around about $400, and the TST is $550 for a very similar kit. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to work with them to get some affiliate links and some discounts for you, so uh, please check below and we'll put all the details we can there. Obviously, we update over time as well, so if you're in the future right now and you're thinking of buying these, we will put that detail there. In the but future. In the future. <laughs> but first of all, Natalie. Yes. Installation. How did they compare? Well, I think the tire minder was way easier to install, honestly. It's like a plug and play kind of kit. It was very easy to read and very easy to set up. Yeah. The TST was a lot, not a lot more complicated, but just more complicated having to get all the codes and make sure it paired with it individually and then go and install it and having to remember which ones I placed where. Yeah. I think for ease of use, the tire minder was a better install. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, okay, I agree. Um, and how did you feel when we were actually using them in the truck? What did you think of them? Well, what I liked about, um, and both of them have, you know, nice obvious screens, but if I'm being really honest, I quite liked that the tire minder had the 10, I think it's up to 10 tires on one screen, and then it says like, it's to two screens rather than the TST it's like one tire at the time rotating through but I mean really you drove so how was your how did you yeah. feel about looking at those screens so here's the thing in that respect I don't like either of them no I uh, agree. because so so the 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 tire minder you had the you had the truck and then the trailer and it would rotate between the two screens but I could see all of the tire levels on the tire minder of the truck then I had to wait a few seconds, it would go to the trailer, and then I could see all of the trailer tires. Yeah. Um, the TST I really like because actually you can see, it gives you green lights of where all the tires are. So yeah. even if one is low, it will go red. Yeah. Um, uh, but it would rotate through each tire of the temperature and the PSI. So, which is, you know, both of those things, the way you have to wait for the screen to flick around is quite dangerous because I should be looking at the road. I shouldn't be sat there. Like I'll be looking at the tire miner thinking, what's the next tire? What's the next tire? By the time you realize you haven't been looking at the road for six seconds. So there is that. I mean, both of them have alerts. Yeah. 
Um, so the tire minder does it on percentage, was that right, what you were saying? Yeah, so the thing I did like about the TST was that you can set the parameters. So if you don't, if you want to be alerted when your tire pressure goes over 90 PSI or the temperature, I will mention that the TST only covers, I think, three things, and that was just temperature, high and low pressure, whereas the tire minder covered five. I don't remember what they are, but I did say them earlier. Um, so yeah, but on the time winder, you're absolutely correct. They, that's just a percentage. If it goes over something like 10 or 20% of what it's meant to be, it will alert you. But you don't get to set what those parameters are. And I really like that. As a nerd, I love to know and set my own par parameters on this thing. But I do agree that for, this is probably where we differ, right? Mm. I think you prefer the easy plug and play. You put it all in, you turned it on and it just worked and it, it was fine. Yes. The the TST, I like to set my own parameters and get all customization on it and stuff. <laughs> so my favorite thing about having a TPMS mm -hmm. is that I don't have to check the tire pressures every time we go out. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why we haven't had a blowout yet is because True. I always check the tire pressures at the very least once a week, yeah. uh, depending on how much we're driving. So I love the fact I can just turn that on, leave it a little minute for it to all sync up and, they're all, and they all just show up. Both systems are great for that. My biggest concern about both systems is that for both of them, we did an equal test. Uh, we disconnected the trailer didn't touch anything on the screen and went out and we drove for both systems for about 15 or 20 minutes before it realized we're 10 miles away from the trailer so i don't like that i don't know whether i'm doing something wrong or there's some configuration thing but if they lose signal if those tire pressure monitors lose signal with the system i want to know about it immediately because that is as important as not knowing what the pressures are right yeah so t t giving me fake information of what it was 10 minutes ago doesn't help me like, yeah. i would like to know that there is a sensor out so both systems did that very disappointed not sure if it's something to do with us or unless the antennas that we do we installed actually oh, go that, that far yeah. which i really don't believe they are so there is <laughs> that but so ultimately i think they're both great systems mm. uh i think there is a market for a better system mm -hmm. like these are what was one was 400 for the tire minder 550 for the tst yeah i would pay a thousand dollars for a system where you can see all the tire pressures all on one screen and one that doesn't cut out when you go away from the trailer and one that does cut out, out. <laughs> does cut out when you go away from the trailer i think there is a, a premium version i haven't looked these are the two leading products on the market yeah and honestly i think they're both really good yeah it's a that's it is a tough decision i agree but we have to choose one okay i think i know which one i'm gonna go for based on literally one fact but i'm gonna get you to go first what did you prefer i prefer the tire minder yeah i thought you'd say that yeah I, well, I just it was so easy to use and i like the screen i like that it was all on one thing the point is you're not meant to be looking at that screen right it just beeps at you when True. you know so but i yeah overall i just i feel like the quality of it was really nice as really? well yeah See, I think the opposite, and I'm going to choose the TST. I knew you were, just such and, a geek. And honestly, I know we got these free, but I think I'd pay the extra for the TST. And the reasons are, one, is because I feel like that feels better quality than Time Minder. Also, oh, he was weird. the guy that reminded you about the spare wheels, right? He was, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Mike from TST. It was uh, actually Michael from Tire Minder gave us a Tire Minder, and Mike from TST <laughs> gave us a TST. Uh, and, yeah, he actually said, you need an extra one so that you can monitor your spare tire. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. So yeah, now we can handy. monitor. He actually gave me two, one for the spare tire in the truck and one for the rig. Yeah. So th thank you. That was a really good call. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, but yeah, no, the TST, I like the fact that you can see, I know it's on, you can only see one tire at a time, p uh, PSI and temperature, yeah. but it has the green things on each tire. So when one fails, you can see it. Instantly. The other thing that I liked about the TST is you can flick between the tires. So even though it rotates, yes. I can go click, 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 and I can go see it, yeah. which one it is. On the tire minder, you have to wait for that screen to change. Yes. You can't rush it, you can't fast forward it, you have to wait like five seconds each time it, it does it. Yeah. So that's why I vote TST. Okay. So anyway, uh, we were rambling a little bit there, but I hope this was, this was interesting for you. Ultimately, Natalie would buy the tire minder because it's easy to set up. You just plug it all in and it's just get, getting going. You did bring a, a good point forward, even though I like the TST for the screen. Ultimately, you shouldn't really be looking at it. If there is a problem, it's going to beep and throw all of this stuff at you so that you, that's when you know when to pay attention. But I choose the TST because I think the interface is a bit better uh, and I just, I just, it's more me there's more customization on it and stuff so i prefer to do that because i'm a 
bit of a geek like that. And, <laughs> So. And I don't, I just want to plug and play. You just want to go and then <laughs> make a noise when it all breaks. That's yeah, all you want to know. Just tell me when it's wrong. I don't want to yeah. set up all the parameters. <laughs> all right, fine. All right, well, we hope this was helpful. Uh, there's tons of information out there. There's lots of different kits that you can buy for each of them. There are different sensors, and the sensors you can get, you can get the flow through sensors. Our ones you just screw on the cap. If I want to put air in the tire, I have to take it off, pump it up. There's other ones that are flow through that you can go on. There's lots of different configurations. And there's safety you know. features on them to not get stolen. We didn't really discuss there that, is. but both yes. do come with some anti wheel lock things so people aren't just walk up to and, and, and steal off. it if yeah. you're in a campground not that i imagine that happens very much and th there's lots of similarities be between them both have three year warranty you can find all that information on the website but ultimately team tst team tire minder <laughs> now we're going to go and have a fight about which one we're actually going to keep yeah okay wait before you go we've just had a crucial conversation <laughs> robust dialogue and we came to the decision that we're going to keep the tst on the truck uh, and natalie is going to use the tire minder for her car which doesn't have a built-in tpms because it's a 2014 explorer so yeah. natalie wants it on her car because she has had some tire issues i've we had a lot of tire issues a lot, lately a lot of tire issues <laughs> so actually. it makes sense to have so, one of these on my car so we both win that's we what do. we're gonna do i'm excited all right that sounds very fair to me if you like this video we're going to recommend another one up here uh also don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button so you know when we upload new videos and if you'd like to become a brazier and support a couple of tits <laughs> hit the join button do it <laughs> see you next week